50 years, Japan has relied on the U.S. military to maintain regional security. But growing protests over the American base on the island of Okinawa has tested this alliance. Now Prime Minister Yukio Hatoyama's leadership is in question after reneging on a promise to remove the base. I'm Fazia Ibrahim. On this edition of 101 East, we ask if the Japanese government can balance its political future with regional stability. Some 50,000 American troops are stationed here in Japan, more than half of them on the southern island of Okinawa. But their presence has not always been welcome. Kathy Hearn reports. Kikoko Miyagi has been working at the Himayori Peace Museum for the past 25 years. She's a survivor of the Battle of Okinawa, one of World War II's last and bloodiest fights. In April 1945, the Americans used the island of Okinawa, planning to launch a final assault on Japan's mainland. The Japanese army was told to do whatever it could to drive them back. And in desperation, they ordered all civilians to help with war efforts. Kikoko was 16 when she and her school friends were sent to the battlefield. At first, I fainted as soon as I saw wounded soldiers. I was not a nurse. I was just an ordinary high school student. It was a big shock to me. The teenagers worked right on the front line. Makeshift hospitals were set up in the caves underneath this memorial site. 12,000 American soldiers died here, but the Japanese losses were much higher. We lost 200,000 people. Many were my loved ones. People like us who experienced that sort of atrocity never want war again. We saw with our own eyes the horror of war. After Japan surrendered, it signed a security pact with the U.S., allowing American bases to be built across the country. This allowed Japan to rebuild its shattered economy, while giving the U.S. a military presence in Asia. But when Prime Minister Yokio Hatoyama came to power last September, he promised to have the bases moved off Okinawa. This was in opposition to a previous U.S.-Japanese agreement in 2006 that agreed to move the bases on Okinawa to more remote parts of the island. 63-year-old Hiroshi Ashitomi, a formal civil servant, has been campaigning to have the bases removed for many years. 75% of the U.S. bases in Japan are in Okinawa, and 20% of the land on Okinawa is occupied by these bases. Accidents and social problems caused by the bases impact on the residents. So it's up to us to change this situation. Behind me is the city of Ginawan on the island of Okinawa, and in the middle of the city is the controversial Fatema base. Schools, homes, buildings surround the airbase, and there's a constant danger to the people living around, and their opposition to the military airbase is increasing. There is no military base in the U.S. that is built in such a dangerous location like Futenma. Even if it is relocated to another part of Okinawa, the problems won't go away. Okinawa has a long history of opposition to the American presence. The gang rape of a 12-year-old girl by U.S. servicemen led to mass protests in 1995. And anger flared again in 2008 after another teenage rape by a U.S. Marine. Last month, more than 93,000 people from all political parties gathered to show their opposition to the U.S. base. People wore yellow, saying it was a yellow card for the government. We've had many rallies, but this is the big one. If we miss this moment, we can't go forward. It is not a matter of ideologies anymore. It is about people standing together with one voice. The plan to relocate part of Fatema Air Base to Okinawa's less populated Hinoko Bay has provoked an outcry from Japanese environmental groups who say it will endanger the coral and fish 
as well as the rare marine mammal, the dugong. The proposed runway will negatively affect the dugong's habitat and food supply because it will be built on reclaimed land from the bay. The flight path will also disturb them with its noise. Anti-base campaigners have set up a protest site here to show the opposition to the proposed runway that would extend into the sea. We have been here for 2,197 days. Because of our sit-ins and monitoring, we have been able to stop the Americans from surveying the area and have so far stopped the air base being built here. Local residents believe there are better ways to develop this part of Okinawa. If the land is returned and hotels and other resort facilities are built here, that will create new jobs. There will be possibilities to create sustainable industries that are environmentally friendly, non-lethal to human beings and protective of the dugongs. The reason the U.S. insists on the airbase in Honoko is because if it is completed as originally designed, it will be a great airbase for the U.S., paid for by the Japanese government, with our taxes. Lawyer Toshio Ikemiyagi handles most of the island's court cases involving U.S. servicemen. These include drunk driving accidents and sexual harassment cases. The U.S. governed Okinawa for 27 years, during which time the human rights of the people in Okinawa were trampled on and the American troops did whatever they liked. Police statistics show that the number of crimes by U.S. servicemen has dropped slightly in recent years. But Ikimiyagi says that's because many crimes go unreported, as victims are afraid to come forward. The Status of Forces Agreement also prevents the Japanese legal system from interfering in U.S. jurisdiction. But opinions on this are mixed. Crimes don't happen just because the American bases are there. Accidents happen everywhere. Japanese people are also involved in hit-and-run cases too, so I am kind of doubtful when people say that all the crime is because of the bases. It disturbs us any time uh, a U.S. service member is involved in an incident off base. Overall. 99% of our military members uh, are behaving in the appropriate manner, and for the 1% 1, 1 or less who, who don't get it, then we deal appropriately with them. Noise pollution is the most common complaint. More than 5,000 people have laid claims with Toshio. The roar of the jet fighters from the Kadena Air Base is terrible. People living around the base cannot sleep. So 28 years ago, we started our first legal action, asking the base to stop flying overnight. I have been working on this case ever since. Kadena Air Base is the largest uh, U.S. air base in the Pacific. It's a very diverse base with a lot of missions, a lot of capability that supports our strategic presence here in the Pacific. We make changes where we can but there's only so much that we can do. Local labor union leader Masaharu Shimanaka works at the Fatema base. He says Okinawa cannot survive economically if they were moved. If all the marines stationed at Futema leave, then approximately 3,000 workers will lose their jobs. The rent from the land will also disappear once Futema goes, which will amount to a loss of around $150 million. Many of them are aware of, of some of the bigger issues that are, that are taking place right now uh, between uh, the U.S. government and the Japanese government. As long as they continue to go off base and, and receive a warm reception from the Okinawan people, and, and I think that they will, then I don't think these larger issues are going to affect their day-to-day -day outlook. In July, half of Japan's upper house seats will be up for election. The ruling DPJ party controls that chamber because of its alliance with two smaller parties. But Prime Minister Hatsuyama finds himself in an increasingly difficult position. With opinion polls putting his popularity at around 20%, he walks a fine line between critics who say he's reneging on an election promise and those who say he's risking a strong alliance with the US. As the besieged Premier fights to resolve the crisis and save his job, Kiko Komiyagi and her colleagues say they too will continue to fight. Because we have the bases, we may also be attacked. And because we have the bases, we have the potential to harm others. Both of these are bad things. 
For the people in Okinawa, the presence of the bases weighs heavily on our shoulders. Coming up after the break, we'll have more on the continued American military presence in Japan, particularly on the island of Okinawa. Stay with 101 East. Welcome back to 101 East. This week, we come to you from Tokyo, Japan, as we discuss the continued American military presence here in this country, particularly on the island of Okinawa. Joining us now is Tomohiko Taniguchi from Keio University and Suneo Nabe Watanabe from the Tokyo Foundation. Tomohiko, if I could just start with you first. After much deliberation, the Prime Minister has decided to honor the 2006 agreement and allow the uh, U.S. Marines to stay on Okinawa. Why then do you think he made that electoral promise, which he has now broken? Well, I think it's primarily because as a leader of the opposition party, uh, as he confessed openly to the public, he knew very little or he studied very little about one of the most important issues for Japan, which is national security. And uh, he should have known that Okinawa Island sits on the front line of the uh, changing equation of security in East Asia and the presence of the US MC, US Marine Corps in Okinawa bears even more importance than in the past. But what was his purpose to make it an electoral issue? Well, he thought the uh, burden that the people in Okinawa uh, has, has to bear was just too much and he wanted to lighten the burden, but there is a subtle equation to be cut between the importance of national security and the necessity to lighten the burden of the Okinawan people. And uh, he, he just came, came to the uh, wrong conclusion as an opposition leader. Well, Suneo Watanabe, let me just throw this question to you. What does this then say about this prime minister, seeing that he has only now realized the strategic importance of the bases in Okinawa? Yeah, because, you know, it's natural that the person who came to the government position with a little, uh, with a little experience, and especially the DPJ, the very first time to take a government. Um, several member uh, experts on uh, security issues, but uh, uh, Prime Minister Hatoyama himself was, it was not, and he needed uh, some time to run. And also, the, his characteristic is uh, he is a person who listens to anybody. That means that he, he didn't have any uh, clear the priority to hear some advice. I'm sure that's uh, very uh, mixed and confusing advice to him when he was uh, the, the opposition party. The problem is of his own making. Uh, the, what made the matters worse was their pledge not to rely on the bureaucrats. Bureaucrats are the source of um, accumulated knowledge or the institutional memory, but uh, he chose not to rely on that institutional memory. Well, going forward now, what does this then mean for his leadership? What does this then mean for the DPJ in the upcoming July Upper House elections? Well, it's going to be a dire, it's going to have a dire effect. Poll after poll indicate that the shrinking number of uh, the uh, voters asked is endorsing the prime ministership of Mr. Hatoyama's. Now 20% or even below 20% of the people asked are saying that they are still supportive of Prime Minister Hatoyama. So it's going to be a serious, uh, it's going to have a serious knock-on effect. What do you think? Oh uh, yeah, I, th I think uh, it's not only uh, Okinawa issue, but uh, other issues that are also the frustrated uh, voters. Because I think uh, the, the people uh, didn't see any strong leadership to things uh, go ahead. And also, I think uh, the, the policy proposal that Hatoyama made before was uh, very naive, uh, I think, uh, including uh, uh, the uh, Okinawa issue. Well, let's look at this in the bigger picture. Tomohiko, if I could throw this question to you. Yes. Is the Okinawa issue an issue that only concerns the residents on that particular island, or does it reflect perhaps a growing Japanese resentment towards American military presence on Japanese soil? Well, as with anywhere, there is a mixed feeling, mixed emotion towards the Americans. 
But there is a recognition, growing recognition, that the presence of uh, US, Ma U.S. Marine Corps in Okinawa uh, is even more important, unlike in the Cold War era, when the uh, conflict with the Russians was the uh, focal point. Um, there is a built up of naval power in China, the sea lane of commerce, long stretched sea lane of commerce is the lifeline J for Japan and uh, the presence of the U.S. Um, armed forces in Okinawa is uh, one of the most important uh, linchpin uh, for Japan's national security and the nation at large are coming to terms with this as well as uh, the difficulties uh, thereby caused upon the Okinawan people. Certainly something that Hatoyama definitely wanted to do to try and make Japan a more equal partner in the US-Japan alliance. But he hasn't actually achieved that by giving in to agreeing to honor this 2006 agreement. Would you agree with that? Um, the Hatoyama, Prime Minister Hatoyama's proposal to equal partnership was a very vague. What kind of point he would like to be equal? I think if my sense is if to be equal, Japan really need to increase the Japan's own defense capability. However, he didn't propose it. And without it, impossible to have equal partnership. I think uh, uh, the plus, I think, as a trouble is uh, uh, Japan, Japanese people see the, some anxiety on the future regional stability, including uh, North Korea and the very unclear trajectory of the uh, rise of China. So I think uh, still Japanese people are rely on uh, uh, U.S. military presence and the U.S.-Japan alliance. That being the case, Tomohiko, how do you think China is seeing this particular uh, issue right now here in Japan? It's been an interesting development. The Japanese leader seems to be uh, trying hard to distance himself uh, from uh, the Americans who are providers of the security in the region. And uh, I don't think it's, co it's a coincidence that the Chinese are sending a group of ships very close to Okinawa uh, region uh, to test the pulse, if you like, the uh, uh, blood pressure of the Japanese. Sunayo, how do you think Beijing is looking at this particular issue? Beijing, I think, uh, that doesn't like uh, the, the rapid, uh, rapid decrease of a U.S. military base. Because if Japan decided to develop Japan's own defense, that's going to be big trouble for the region, I think. Well, do you think Japan can develop its own military power? Well, less and less so, given the um, ballooning uh, fiscal deficit I think, um, fiscally speaking as well, Japan is going to have uh, difficulty in arming itself more, um, as indicated by the shrinking budget for the defense uh, in Japan. This is an issue that has been a thorn in the side of the U.S.-Japan alliance. How do you think Washington will view Hatoyama going forward? Washington's uh, consensus in uh, the Obama administration is uh, strategic patience. I think they realize uh, that this government, Hatayama government, is uh, immature. So need need time to look look at. And clearly they understand that the current uh, trouble is not uh, that uh, is not uh, the vo all voices of uh, Japanese people. I think uh, that's very wise for for Obama administration. Would you agree with that as well? I would agree with that. Um, Obama administration studied its um, uh, studied its. Um, uh, Japanese policy by uh, putting a lot of emphasis on the alliance and so expectation was high. Uh, remember uh, the previous uh, Prime Minister Mr. Aso was um, invited to the White House as the first guest of uh, foreign nations and uh, now you have um, Prime Minister who um, does like this between uh, uh, what's, uh, what's needed to be done and what's not needed to be done and as uh, Nabe pointed out uh, there's a great degree of strategic patience and the, pa the emphasis is on patience on the side of the Americans. Japan then can never really be an equal partnership to US, would you agree? I don't think so because I think that there's no exactly the equal symmetry the power in the world. I think that Japan has its own willingness even the right now I think as a US cannot the impose their own idea. Japan has a right to say no. Japan can the choose and but at the same time uh, considering uh, Japan's own interest uh, Prime Minister Hatoyama came back to the original agreement that's not so bad thing so that's not such a bad thing you say but then again it means Japan has to continually fork out something like four billion US dollars a year to host 
some 50,000 American personnel. That's a cheaper than if Japan's, uh, Japan's on the development, um, including a nuclear. Well, I do agree with Nabe. Uh, suppose Japan is buying a security insurance policy, and who is going to buy from? Uh, for Japan. I think it's, um, it definitely has to be from uh, the United States. And we're paying the Japanese uh, taxpayers are paying premium for the uh, insurance policy. So uh, it's a cheaper policy than uh, doing it alone or independent. Well, you talk about security insurance. Why not build up the regional ties? Is that possible? The regional tie is actually the de developing, uh, especially the economic and the business ties. And uh, also the regional architecture is uh, the under, under construction. I, I don't think uh, the, the US military base is uh, the uh, opposite side to the regional building. On security, I don't think anything is going to take shape in my lifetime. Uh, given uh, the Chinese are still uh, a communist power, and they, they are ambitious to uh, uh, have a growing influence uh, on, China, on, on this part of the world. Uh, so it's going to be very, very difficult for uh, Japan to get engaged in any regional ties so far as the security goes. Just going forward then, do you ever see a time when there won't be an American base here in Japan at all? My personal opinion, the at the same time, I think uh, Japan need to the, develop the Japan's own uh, military quietly and, uh, uh, and also try to reduce the burden of Okinawan people. Um, it's not r rapid one, very, very the cautious and uh, the careful way. And uh, the in, probably in the future, uh, Japan is a more equal partnership uh, to ma maintain the military in Okinawa. Pro and uh, the, after that, and the regional r r stability is established, I think the Jap U.S. could reduce the military. Anyway, U.S. has a trouble in the long run for the, their own military presence the, anywhere in the world. Tomohiko, do you think there will come a time when Japan will no longer have to rely on U.S. military assistance? Well, there may be a time such as that, but the presence of the um, uh, 20,000 or even more members of the USMC in Okinawa are testimony uh, of the U.S. pledge of uh, continuing to provide security in this part of the world. And so I do hope that that situation is going to continue. Gentlemen, I'm afraid we're going to have to leave the discussion there. That's all the time we have for this edition of 101 East from the team here in Tokyo, Japan. Thank you for watching.